Okay, everybody, here I'm get back. Um, this is the, and I have to say that I didn't get out my tripod, um, so expect to uh, to suffer from vertigo. This is the setup of the Tet Offensive. Here we have the Delta moving into Saigon, up the coast, and as you can see, there are loads of red dots. Um, the Vietnamese are now making an incursion into into um, all places in Vietnam. This is this was um, a big surprise to everybody because Tet is is a very important um, religious holiday. Nothing ever happened during the Tet festival. So when when they decided in 1968 in January to actually um, start moving, the um, the Americans were very much surprised. Um, I set this up in order to be sure that I can play um, to the best of both sides abilities taking into account a couple of really important changes to the rules. On turns 1 and 2 all Vietnamese will be in supply. You don't have to trace anything back to any um, to any uh, supply centers, they're automatically in supply which is very important especially during combat. Secondly. In the first turn, there are no um, allied United States and free world allies zone of control. So they can, the Vietnamese can move freely. They can pass the stacks, it doesn't matter. They can move around like as they like. And thirdly, on the first turn, there is no allied defensive bombardment. So basically, once the um, the Vietnamese have moved into position, like for example up here, they are already in position, but these guys are going to come in. Um, there will not be any bombardment, so these guys can basically um, attack this city with no um, fear of being attacked from the air, which, as I've seen in the past, is actually quite eff effective because it will um, suppress most of the units. And also, for every attack on any printed base, like so, uh, down here, this is a printed base, um, or uh, any city that is held by the Allies, they, uh, the Vietnamese get one political point, regardless of the outcome. And also, in addition, um, if they attack Saigon, any of these two hexes here, which are Saigon, they will get two points. So that's going to be really interesting. Setting this up was actually quite interesting and funny. Uh, or well, I should say it was fun because um, I really had an idea of what I wanted to play in terms of strategies. After the first um, scenario, I really understand the strategies that you can apply in order to play this game. So I'm really looking forward to this. And um, yeah, this is called, just so you can also see it here, this is simply called Vietnam, Vietnam 1968 Scenario Tet! Exclamation mark. And we'll see how that goes.